cooking venison or any wild game, I, I really think that the field uh, care of it is so important. And, and you know, you can read articles about this. You can heard enough TV show guys and, and podcasters and Facebook people say the same thing, but field care is so key. Uh, being able to get that animal field dressed and cooled down as fast as you can is, is very vital to the, you know, the taste once you get back home. I always laugh when I hear people say, God, I don't like the taste of venison. I'm like, it just wasn't prepared properly or it wasn't taken care of in the field. I mean, I, it is some of the sweetest tasting meat that you're ever going to find. And prepared properly, you're really going to love it once it comes time down to sit at the dinner table. You know, venison jerky um, is, is something, venison sausage is so popular, so many people love. Uh, we enjoy, you know, processing it. You grind it up, at, at, you know, like at Clark's Camp, when we go up there, you're grinding it up, put it in a dehydrator, put it in the smokers, um, and, and you can eat it all season long in the field. You can take it out in the boat. I mean, it's just another great way to prepare venison for, for, for usage for long periods of time. And I think it's probably one of the most common ways people that don't understand how good venison is uh, to have it processed. They'll take it to their local processor and do that. But what they're missing out on a lot of times is the fun of actually processing their own meat and, and, and you know how great it tastes when they're done. You know, you can chicken fry it, you can bake it, you can grill it, you can smoke it, you can, I mean, there's so many different ways out there that you can cook venison that it's, it's mind boggling. Um, you know, I love to, to take pieces of venison, wrap it in, in bacon, put it, uh, some cream cheese and jalapenos in there, smoke it for long periods of time, the Bradley smoker. We've taken the back straps out, uh, you know, done the same things. You know, I'll take, you know, different, different cuts and cut it up, drop it in a deep fryer, hamburger for tacos. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with venison when it comes time to prepare it. Uh, just don't overcook it. Cook it slow, don't get it too hot, and I promise you it'll be some of the best eating meat you've ever had.